Hi, I'm Lieutenant David Jude with the Kentucky State Police Public Affairs Branch. Welcome to the Teen Driving Academy called Drive to Stay Alive. This year we're hosting it on the campus of Eastern Kentucky University. This is a really neat interactive program where we bring high school juniors and seniors from all across the state to learn driving skills, how to properly handle and maneuver cars, and then also learn the safety characteristics that go with it. Every year at the beginning of school, our office sends out letters to every high school across the state of Kentucky. We try to identify up to 30 teenagers that can come be a part of this academy. We pick them up at their front door, we bring them to headquarters, and we take them home as well. So it's a free program where they get a chance to come up here, spend some time with Kentucky State Troopers, learn how to drive the cars, learn how to maneuver, and then of course get that message back to their communities at the end. My trooper came to get me from my house and me and two other students from Fayette County. We drove down to Frankfurt to the Kentucky Police Headquarters. And from there we met everybody from different counties. And that night we just got to know each other and play games. When the students are here at the Drive to Stay Alive Academy, their daytime activities are filled, of course, being on the driving track. However, there's much more to the program than that. Once they get back to headquarters, we do interesting things with them every evening. We have an expo fair where different community vendors and resources come in and spread that safety message as well. We also have a tour of the Capitol. We try to do something fun with the kids so they learn some more history about the state of Kentucky. And then we also try to have a cookout on the very last day where we get to spend some time together and really forge relationships with the Kentucky State Police and of course the, uh, the high school seniors, the future of tomorrow for us. So it's a, it's a jam-packed day from the very beginning in the morning all the way to bedtime at night. We've been staying at the Kentucky State Police Academy's dorm rooms, rooming with one other person. And yesterday we just had a whole lot of class teaching us what we were going to do today and how to be better drivers and not to panic in certain situations and just teaching us how to be overall better drivers. You have different evasive maneuvers, different, different driving skills that the kids are learning. Uh, they'll do an off-road recovery on the other side. They're doing a, what they call a serpentine over here. This is a parallel parking exercise. They will have an instructor tell them and demonstrate the skill to them and then they're free to do it on their own until they become proficient at that skill. What off? Break! Stair off. Stair, 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 stair. Stay with it. Ah, you did it! Look at you. Look what you have done. I didn't feel anything. I wonder why. In addition just to being part of the Drive to Stay Alive Teen Driving Academy, these kids also do something else that's very important. Some of these kids have never been out of their communities before and it gives them an opportunity to come to headquarters and to, to meet kids from all across the state, spend some time with them, and really build relationships that hopefully they keep the rest of their lives. Well, with me being from Lexington and some of them being from the little small counties, I probably wouldn't have been able to meet them if it wasn't for Drive to Stay Alive. I mean, I've met plenty of good people here. This guy from <laughs> pretty rival school, he seems to be a good guy, I still pick on him. But we met a couple of cool guys and it's been a pretty good time. Yeah. I have to agree. Good Lord. One of the magical parts of this whole program, of course, is, is that the teens go back to their communities and they spread this message as we've been talking. However, the real neat part about this is every year we give away two $1,000 scholarships for whoever goes back and does the most work within their community. So part of what they're here to do is to learn leadership and to learn how to do presentations and then they go back and they develop this leadership mentality back at their communities. They get involved with media, they get involved with different community events, pep rallies at their school, uh, seatbelt pledges, whatever they can do to help spread this message. They get involved and then the competition turns out to be whoever does the best with it. Two people from this class will receive a thousand dollar scholarship to the college of their choice. The best part of this program is they take what they learn here back to their communities and they share peer-to-peer the information they learn with us, and hopefully to make their high schools and their communities a little safer. The stuff that I learned here, I'm hoping to take back to Bullock County, to our SAD program. We're doing a couple different programs that are with drugs, driving, and student decisions, and I'm helping with the driving portion of it. It'll apply in many ways, so now when I go to back in the parking spots, I will be hitting stuff and I'll know how to parallel park better. But I can also go out and help other kids set up things to let them know that some things 
that we can do to improve so it won't be as many accidents in teens.